What's he working on? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> they call that the hot rod flameless heat system. <laughs> flameless heat system? But I see flames. I see, I guess, smoky smoke. Smoky smoke. Sorry, right? These are not exhaust rates. Oh, oh, flame! Oh, fire. Flame! That's my hot rod. You can hot sue. Call the lawyer. <laughs> call Saw. Yeah. Better call Saw. It's actually on fire. What's on fire? Careful though? now. That's what you're doing. Trying to shock it. Hand me that, hand me that free all right Go for a ride. Railroad and... <laughs> oh! That's Saki. <laughs> That's Saki. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are you recording? Yeah. Alright, so today. Hey, what is that? <laughs> That's what the previous owner did. They fixed it. <laughs> today we're gonna. It's the same day as the last video, so if you didn't watch that one, check that one out. But we're gonna pull the seats and pull the door cards off and clean the interior. <laughs> I need to find another set of seats and another set of door cards but these will be good for now because there's two different colors there's like the regular tan and then parchment tan or something and this is the parchment so it's like a softer tan that one's more dark but those will be good for now what is this what's he working on over there <laughs> it's got the biggest pipe in the world. <laughs> Oh, I just got pickle juice on the car. Don't do that. What is on me? <laughs> this dog poop bell. Oh, I'm ranching. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, my God. Rocky. Let's see. Man, we should take a thumbnail of this. Oh my god. When they say they about to leave, I'm like, baby, don't leave. I'ma rent it up even if it come down to selling weed. I'ma stack them big bucks just I want to take a cheese. I want the wheels, no mix kid D, then I bounce back. So that's as good as I can get this side. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I guess when I get seats that actually match the ones I pulled out, the parchment color one, I'm going to, I'll use my extractor on it and I'll really get it as good as I can. But for right now, as long as I just get the Cheez-Its up and the Rocky's toothpick, it should be, it'll be better. <laughs> what was he actually working on on this thing? Hmm? What? <laughs> what? All right, we get, you got right, a new so rotor on. Fun fact about the GTOs. This is the spring that, like the, you know, coil over strut and spring. This is a spring. They're two piece. And, <laughs> and they've killed some people apparently when they go to put them back in because you have to jack up the bottom and it compresses the spring. And if it slips out, it shoots out and it'll take your head off. So he uses this and he puts it down in there, down through this control arm. I don't know where he puts it down through, but he puts it through so it holds the spring in. So if the spring shoots out, it's gonna hit this. And, and break you put that a chain around it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That way, that way it doesn't take your head off if it shoots out. And he, he said it shot out on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fun fact for GTOs for the day. And now back to the video. You know how normally you like take the seats out from under a car and the carpet is clean down there yeah. and the rest of it's dirty because nothing goes there. Maybe like crumbs and stuff, but. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> but this carpet's dirtier than the rest of the car. Man, he liked his cheese it. <laughs> I'ma catch a bitch and make a bite like a piranha. She gon' suck that dick and spray all over her old summer. I used to be broken, now they coming by the bundle. Take her on a date and then I cut her like a barber. Pull up on the fed with a bread or the birds. That's as good as I'm gonna get it. Oh wait, I got tough stuff. Ooh. Tough stuff. Perfect. Well, that's not too tough. <laughs> Tough stuff's about dead. <laughs> Come on, tough stuff. Is it full? No, it's like empty. Uh huh. Piss on your bitch mouth like a sucker. Cut your swag on my face, no nerve. I don't like top bro, tell no word. 
That's that's a big difference. Yeah. And it's still terrible. So before it was extremely terrible. We're gonna take the door cards off, put the new ones on, then we'll put the new seats in. That's really it for now. I need to uh, now I need to get the proper color ones, unfortunately. Alright, so I open this door and what is this? It works. It really works. So unfortunately, I bought MB2 door cards, which do not fit the MB1, but it's okay because they don't match these anyways. Um, so now I gotta find some parchment color ones of these in good shape. But for at least the time being, I'll swap the seats. So that one that's completely falling apart, I'll have a decent one in there. Even though this passenger one's pretty good condition, but the driver has a few cracks and splits. Cuts, not cracks. Well, let's put them in. I'm tired. Enough time. Oh my gosh. The foundation looks like a shopping center is going <laughs> in there, not a house. <laughs> Whoever has an Xbox, drop their gamer tag in the comments. We'll play Black Ops 2 Zombies with you. Got it. Here we go. Man, it looks a whole lot better, but I just wish it matched. But uh, I guess even if I can't find matching seats that match this, these will be okay. Um, if anybody wants these seats, $20. I'll probably list that one for like 50, just cause this color is hard to find. And then this one for 20, if anybody wants them. Since changing up the interior didn't really go as planned, um, I'm adding to the video. I'm gonna rebuild the shifter now. So at least the shifter will be shifting a whole lot better. So this is the amount of slop it has now. So that's in first. Second, third, and it's just hard to like figure out which gear is which. So I got the Moss Miata rebuild kit. All the sound didn't instill in place. And that's a plus. The insulator is destroyed. All right, let's see it. Yeah, that is rough in there. The plastic cap is supposed to come out on the ball, but it's cracked off and it is just gone. I'm gonna have to fish it out. All right, so the rebuild consists of these two, the one with the chunks out of it. That sits right down in there where those two pins are. And then this sits under that. And then these two, which actually sit on the shifter and then you just have your insulation boot and then the bigger one you could either have the like oem plastic style that sits on the bottom of the shifter or an upgraded bronze style for the nb you have to um pull one of these pins back so you can get the little washer part out so what you do is you take a nut and you put it on this side. You have to hold it because your pin will be flush. And then you take some vice grips and you put it on the pin and the back part on the nut and you squeeze it so you can push it out a little bit. And then once it's out a little bit, you can fit a flat head and just pry it out the rest of the way. Once you pop the new one in there, then you can um, hit this in with a punch and just hammer it in and make sure it doesn't hit the plastic part there. Uh, now you want to fill it with transmission fluid just so it covers the bottom where the bushing goes down here and then reinstall. This is a message from the future. If you have a six speed, you don't need to fill that area where the shifter sits. Um, that's connected to the transmission. In the five speeds, it's not. So you uh, want to clean the old fluid out and then refill it. 
but if you have a six speed, do not, or else you're gonna have to drain that quart of fluid you just put in. So now, and that's first gear, it has like no slop. When you're at this point, make sure you can get it through all the gears. Now I just gotta put the insulator boot on and everything back together, I'm good to go. I'm swapping shift boots, even though this is the wrong color one, just because this is the most disgustingest shift boot I've ever seen in my life. Like, oh my God, how does that even happen to get this dirty? <laughs> Here's the finished product first, that's first. Now the gears are nice and tight. Yeah. If your Miata's never had the shift rebuilt, this is the first thing you should be doing because it, it makes a world of difference. That's gonna be it for this episode. Um, next episode, I should have some things coming in like uh, I got some of the trims that are messed up and I also got the mirrors because this side's faded and the other side is just missing. So I have both of those in. I'm going to order a wheel bearing right now so we can do the front wheel bearing. After that, I should be able to drive it a little bit and hopefully uh, no more check engine lights come on. And then it's just a matter of cleaning it and finding the right door cards. Uh, I'm okay with the seats being different but I at least want to find the right door cards that are cleaner. So after the next episode, which is a little more mechanical work, then I think I'm gonna wash it and buff it and do paint correction where needed. So it should be looking a lot better. So thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more on this car and many more cars to come. All right, what, what is this? Oh my, what is that?